Okay, I am delighted to welcome a, a new author who's come the whole way from the US. It was serendipitous how we caught up and I said, we've got to have get you here and get this book launched. It's not here yet, it'll be here tomorrow, so sorry, you're gonna miss that. But she's here as a, as a new aspiring author, Sunny C. Come on, come on up. stories that everyone else has been sharing about books that are published because I haven't yet published a book. Um, I have written a book and it's still very much a work in progress so uh, it was through Karen sort of pushing, uh, maybe not pushing, motivating uh, <laughs> to get me. <laughs> yeah, maybe she doesn't push, that's exaggeration. <laughs> motivating to uh, come out here and be part of the retreat and also showcase uh, a book that is still a work in progress and she was gracious enough to um, print a copy that as she said unfortunately isn't here yet so I don't have anything to show you uh, but what I thought I would share this morning is um, what actually inspired me uh, to write the book and the truth is I had been wanting to write since I was a child um, it's just that at the time that I did that, I didn't really know what the difference was between writing or being an author. Um, I used to read a lot. I mean, when I was even four or five, six years old, I would read several hundred books a year. Uh, it was my thing to do. I, I loved it. Uh, and to me, it meant making books. That's what I thought writing was about. Uh, and I had a school project where they actually told us to write our own story and draw it out and in fact uh, hole punch it and uh, sew in sort of a binding and I remember holding that book in my hand thinking this is what I want to do with my life. Um, I want to make books. Uh, and when I told my parents uh, who are Indian, um, you know, most I don't know how much you know about Indian culture, but most Indians tend to say you should be an engineer, a doctor, or a lawyer, not a writer. Uh, so what I was told was, no, you can't, you can't do that. In fact, you're not going to be good at writing books. Uh, and I believed them. I thought, sure, okay, fine. I'm, I'm never going to do this. I will veer on a path um, that strangely I was good at. Uh, I've ended up going into science and business and putting those two things together and had a pretty successful career, but always felt that there was something missing, uh, that there was something, a bit of an emptiness, and I didn't really know what that was. Uh, ironically though, I still <coughs> continued writing. I would just write training manuals or standard operating procedures or research papers. It wasn't really the creative writing that I wanted to do. Um, although secretly, without ever telling anybody, I would write stories uh, in the background and, and, and really not share them with anyone. And it was about two years ago that I realized um, this calling uh, for writing a book was still very much in me. And in fact, emerging and taking over uh, to the point that I, for periods of time, stopped working. I would just uh, work on, on this book uh, that I felt I needed to share. And I started one book, in fact, and realized this is the story that I want to share just yet. Started a second one, felt the same thing. Started a third one, yet again, felt the same thing. And then it's it, this fourth one that I've now completed um, that really sort of called me to, 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 to come together. And the, the thing that happened, I think, when I finished writing that book uh, was more um, a culmination of a dream that I've carried for such a long time uh, where I listened to my soul and what was calling me rather than what people said I couldn't or shouldn't do with my life. Uh, so that story um, is, is, is essentially uh, a woman similar to me who has an Indian background, but grew up in Colombia, South America, which is where I grew up, and immigrated to the US. Uh, and so the book is set in New York City, even though I don't live in New York. Uh, and she starts getting a series of visions that call her uh, to um, her soulmate. 
she doesn't know who her soulmate is, and she uh, opens herself up, I guess, more spiritually to receive more visions, and it is through uh, the series of visions that she gets that she learns how to heal some of her past relationships and heal herself so that she can figure out uh, and open herself up to her soulmate. Um, and so I've, I've, I've realized that uh, this book is still, uh, you know, a work in progress, and I'm sorry that I don't have something concrete uh, to show you, but I hope that at some point in life it gets out there. I actually don't know what's going to happen with the book. I don't really have a plan for it, other than for me it is a dream come true, and it's a way for me to trust in my own soul and my own destination. So anything, <laughs> uh, that's what I wish for you. You know, if, if, if you have a calling or some sort of inclination to do something that you want to do, um, I wish you, uh, I wish that you actually follow that path. So, thank you. It's very important to hear this, uh, you know, from the Spyronauts who are starting out on a journey because every author is there at some point, whether you're successful or not. And the journey is very important. And the journey is very unique for every single author. I have published over 250 books in the past seven years for other authors. And every single one is different in its own. It, take it in its own life. The ones I thought would be successful were successful. But then they get picked up on later on. And there, there's some that were really successful that I went, wow, that was amazing. I didn't see that coming. So you've got to be open to the journey. And when you embrace the journey, and um, being an author is so much more fun. So it is. <laughs>